it was a celebration of life yesterday in honor of Chief Mrs. Philomena Ngozi Egwenu, who passed on to glory on September 18, 2022, in New York, United States of America. A service of songs which held at Sacred Heart Catholic Church, Ugurujiare, in Lagos, was well attended by family, friends, well wishers, and of course, Arise News staff. Oji Okpe is one of Chief Mrs. Egwenu's daughters. Here is a report. There is a time to be born and there is a time to die. There is a time to sow and then there is a time to reap. There is a time to laugh and then there is a time to cry. What time is it? What time is it today? Is it a time to wait? Is it a time to rejoice? Is it a time to be grateful? Is it a time to be thankful? Is it a time to reflect? All those things come to us and when we are confronted with the reality of death, then we have the opportunity to stop and really enjoy life and really experience life and really think about life because it is death. It is the physicality of death weakens us. But the reality of death jolts us into reality that one day this will be our portion as well. Today I stand here, even though I'm sad and I'm grieving, I am so thankful to God that he gave uh, as a gift to me. I carry a piece of you everywhere I go, Mom. You have left an indelible mark in each of our lives, and we miss you daily. But I draw strength from the fact that I know that you are with the Lord, and I am fully persuaded that we shall meet again. According to the writer Helen Keller, she says that what we have once enjoyed deeply, we can never lose. All that we love deeply becomes part of us. When I heard of the Face of Africa competition, I was only 16 years old. I told my mother that I wanted to be a model, just like the models in the catalogs at her fashion house. Uh, she owned a store. Uh, and then she said, okay. She accompanied me to all of the Face of Africa competitions across the continent. I was so lucky to have her by my side. I remember the first time I hit the runway. It was my mother's voice I heard. She was up on her feet, cheering me on. I could see her in the crowd. <laughs> and I, I was so comforted to see her there. My mother died of cancer. There must be a cure for this disease that took my mother away from me. The pain I feel losing my mother to cancer is worse than a catastrophic nightmare. It's the worst pain I have ever felt. My mother, my hero, my strength, my confidant, my friend, no one could ever replace your love, your kindness, your light will live forever. <laughs> I'll never forget you, mommy. <laughs> May your legacy live forever. <laughs> Chief Lomina Ngozi Egwenu, the Odozienu one of Emu Kingdom. I love you. Rest in peace. Till we meet again, your daughter, Oji, who you loved so much. Chief Mrs. Philomena Ngozi, Egwenu was a refined politician, a two-time aspirant for the Federal House of Representatives seat of Undokwa Ukwane Federal Consistency in 2003 and 2007. And until her death, she was a senior special advisor to the Delta State Government on Conflict Resolution. She is survived by her husband, mother, six children, and nine grandchildren. May her soul Rest in peace and our condolences to the Egwene family. Yesterday, it was a very befitting service of songs in our honor at the Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Ogudu Road, Ojota, uh, Lagos. Uh, the funeral ceremonies will continue uh, next week uh, in Delta State, where she hails from. Ojinika, take heart. The world will be with the family.
Well, thank you everyone. Rufai. Yes. Uh, all right, uh, very sad one. And I am united with Oji and Griff. Uh, I remember when mommy was sick in the hospital. Around that time too, my father was sick in the hospital. And we would always, you know, pray together and just call on God to do the miraculous. And it is sad that mommy passed, but we are consoled by the fact that she loved God and she loved humanity because the greatest of us is God with us. And that's the essence of our lives. There is nothing we are without the impact of God and the grace of God in our lives. Our life is but a passing phase, but we know mommy is well on her way, a transition to glory. And she will continue to shine down our love and presence on our angels down here on earth, like Audrey and the family and the husband. And it is well. We can only pray for the repose of the soul. Uh, thank you so much, you know, everybody that has been there for her this season. God bless you all. Well, to live on in the hearts of those you love is not to die. May she join it well. May the Lord stay and keep the family she has left behind.